Okay, folks, Andrew Bobros here with Chris Rumpf out for the season, sadly now. And Gerald Everett's health in question. We have signed a few players. It's going to be interesting, guys. Let's get into it. Bull Bros. Okay, folks, as always, like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. I'm Andrew Bull Bros. So, we did just sign uh, this gentleman back to the roster. I, I mean, I know you guys might be like, oh, who is this guy? This is Steven Anderson. He's with the Chargers. Uh, he was actually with the Chargers in 2021. Uh, he had 16 receptions, around 200 yards uh, you know, receiving. Yeah, average around 10 yards receiving and a touchdown. Really more of a blocking tight end, right? And okay, that's important, right? Because bottom line, we know our running game is not doing well. And it's become very important in the NFL to have blocking tight ends. That's actually why fullbacks are becoming less and less important. Look at what the Lions did to us this last week. Their tight ends blocked very well. Sam Laporta, I can't remember the other tight end's name, but they did a great job passing, pass blocking, pass protecting, pass pro against our pass rush. We Our pass rush was absolutely abysmal, as we all know. But the Chargers sign Anderson in their practice squad. Again, practice squad probably be called up at some point this week. I would, I'm, you never know. We'll see how it goes. We'll talk more probably about it on on Saturday, on Wednesday. Thirty old is yet to appear in a game this season. He's been on the practice squad, I believe, on the Giants. I believe is where he was um, uh, yet to appear. Um, and uh, he signed. He was with the 2019 and 2021 with the Chargers. So should have let him go to begin with. I think it was a very good tight end. Again, more of a blocking tight end. They really let him go large, large because of Trey McKitty. We also did sign an edge rusher because Rumpf is out. Uh, this man right here, Justin Hollins. He was from the New York Giants practice squad. Uh, so again, Hollins. Brandon Staley knows him from his time with the Rams. Uh, Hollins was part of the Rams' victory Super Bowl. Uh, he's it, appeared in six postseason games. Obviously, has plenty of experience in that regard. Uh, eight tackles, five solo, pair of quarterback hits. Uh, you know, he's he's been around, right? He's spent time with the Broncos, Rams, Packers, Giants. He's had 110 tackles, so 65 solo, around 10 sacks. Again, nothing to write home about. R Chris Rump was really not performing amazingly well. You know, some might argue this might even be a little bit of a upgrade. Sad part is for Chris Rump, most likely will not re-sign him. This is his last year's contract. We'll see what happens moving on with Chris Rump. Who knows? But it's interesting to see that, you know, again, this team is still trying to go out there and get depth. Uh, I would have thought they would have brought up Andrew Farmer or Brevin Allen like they did last season or excuse me, beginning of the season. So we'll see what happens with that. Probably talk more about it on Saturday when the transactions come in for our game on Sunday versus uh, Green Bay. Well, guys, as always, Andrew Bolt Bros. See you guys in the next one.